Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time I'm gonna do a little daily vlog. So uh, I'm gonna end up showing a day in a life in Mark Spector Comics. So I'm um, gonna go spend the day in New Hampshire. Gonna do a little bit of hiking, gonna grab a bite to eat, some beer, and then maybe do a little bit of comic hunting. So uh, if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics, and today's vlog, going on a nice little hike in New Hampshire in the White Mountains National Forest. So you can see here, I'm at the top of something, um, but it's the uh, Welsh Dicky Loop, 4.4 miles roughly. You start up and you climb up the uh, Welsh Mountain, and then you continue on the trail, and you end up climbing the Dicky Mountain before returning. Gotta say, I haven't done a hike like this in quite some time definitely a lot of fun highly recommend it like look at this view as you can see we're in uh, early September up here in New Hampshire and there are already some leaves turning color but look at that look at this view stunning look at that Yeah, look how steep this ascent is. All right, guys, so it looks like I'm on top of Dicky Mountain. So you can see right behind me, there's Welch. Not as difficult climbing up this mountain due to the, uh, we were already at somewhat of an elevation, so it wasn't that much of a climb. Definitely Welch is much, much more difficult. But yeah, we're here at the top, climb two mountains. Here you go. All right, guys, so it looks like I'm on, I'm assuming Dickey Mountain now, because right behind me, you can see Welsh. So, uh, more amazing scenes. Look at that scenery, absolutely stunning. Kick ass workout. So it looks like I'm heading down Dicky Mountain now. The only disappointment so far is I have not found any wild blueberries. I was told in some of the reviews that look out for some wild root blueberries along the trail. Could go for a little snack right now, a little extra energy. Had a nice little protein bar and uh, an Alani energy drink before I left, but. Uh, could go for a little boost right now. All right, guys, so that was a ton of fun. Great hike. Now I'm gonna go check out some other fun places. I just happened to drive right near town and there's an arcade place here, go figure. So let's go check it out. Yo, one of my all time favorite games, Donkey Kong. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Had some really cool vintage, you know, 80s, late 80s, 90s arcade games in there. Uh, played a couple, you know, some Asteroid, some Donkey Kong. It was a good time. So let's, uh, let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry, especially after burning all those calories. All right, guys, we're on to the next spot. We're actually in one of my favorite towns. I haven't been here in quite some time. We're in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Um, there's a brewery here. I was actually pretty keen on uh, checking out and it's called uh, One Love Brewery and um, It's one of my favorite towns to be in because it's you know I spent a lot of time here when I was younger going uh, camping with the boys from high school and college just outside of Lincoln uh, going into the uh, the White Mountains and uh, right near Loon Mountain actually. And uh, Loon Mountain is just outside of the town. So uh, beautiful area, let's go inside and uh, grab some lunch and a brew. All right guys, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of those clips from today's uh, daily vlog. Ended up going to Welch Dickey Loop, nice little hike in Thornton, New Hampshire in the southern part of the White Mountains. Uh, beautiful area if you've never been to, tons and tons of different trails all over the state. Um, 
Then I ended up going to a local town, maybe, you know, down the street, checked out that arcade, had a fun time. I was only there for about 10, 15 minutes before going uh, down the road, 20, 25 minutes into Lincoln. Fun town. I've gone there many times when I was younger to do some camping with some of the friends from college and high school. And um, while I was there, I grabbed a bite to eat at that spot, One Love Brewery. Um, had a couple of beers. You may have seen it posted on my uh, Instagram. And went to another brewery um, right down the road from there. You may probably have seen the pictures as well on Instagram. I had uh, one beer there. The Emma Gourd was fantastic. A nice pumpkin beer. And that was... Um, at the Woodstock Inn Brewery. And it looked like they were having a wedding there too. So that was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, place was huge. And then right next to it, there was a little antique shop. So um, ended up going to the antique shop and they had about four or five short boxes. I didn't um, do any recordings, but I will show you the books I ended up picking up. They were listed all at $5 or um, five for uh five for 20 all right so i just wanted to look so i'll show you what i picked up there and then i'll show you what i got at uh the local lcs afterwards <clears throat> so first book i ended up getting this was uh dazzler uh nice cover dazzler issue number four um looks like a new stand edition but i liked it nice very colorful uh dr doom and dazzler cover that really caught my eye like I said, these were five dollars each, or uh, five for twenty. Um, they ended up having some a good amount of uh, X Men as well, so I ended up picking up. I'm not the biggest X Men, um, you know, uh, collector, but there's a few ca uh, key characters I like to pick up. Uh, this being one of them, and um, this is X Men uh, 283. This is the uh, first appearance of Bishop, as you can see there. Um, our first full appearance of Bishop, I forget. And they had two copies, so I ended up getting two copies. Um, they were in pretty decent shape. One thing I, I am uh, a bit critical about this is they often get the top of it where it says uncanny. These often get uh, miscut. And um, you'll see a lot of these in the run that it almost looks like they're uh, miscut where the uh, uncanny part is at the really, really top of the uh, comic book. So, uh, you know, if you can find a really nice presenting one with the full, uh, with a little bit more overlay, overhang on there, it looks, it presents much better. Um, while I was in that same uh, sh uh, other short box with the Dazzler, they had another, they had a bunch of Dazzlers there. They had like maybe four or five Dazzler issues there. Another really cool Doctor Doom cover. And this is issue number three. Um, really like that. The action sequence there in and around Dr. Doom. So that was pretty cool. And um, another book. I have this is my second copy of this book. And uh, this is Batman issue number 475. And I believe this is the first appearance of Rene Montoya. Um, so yeah, cool book, pick up for five bucks and it's a, it was in pretty good, good shape. And when I was going through these books, I ended up finding one when I opened it up. This issue number four actually had a second comic book, um, hiding behind it, which I thought was, was really odd, but, um, I'll open that up as well and show you. This is, uh, Star Wars. Issue number 36. So that was a nice little surprise <laughs> that just happened to be uh, hidden in there. So um, yeah, those were my books from the uh, antique mall or antique shop, whatever you want to call it. Um, ended up getting, I guess, six books for uh, 20 bucks. Not too bad at all, if, you, if I say so myself, especially for, um, you know, some you know bronze, bronze age and some uh, copper age keys. So that was, that was pretty good. And then on my way back, I had a little bit of time before I, uh, before it started raining and there was another brewery right down the street and, uh, ended up picking up 
a little sweatshirt as well. Uh, it's for uh, Twin Barns uh, Brewing Company and uh, North Woodstock, uh, New Hampshire. It was right down the street. Might as well, they might as well be like be called Lincoln. It was like right, all right down the street from each other. But uh, yeah, surprising the amount of breweries in that small little area. Um, had a couple of beers there as well. Really good beers. Uh, very limited though on uh, on variety that they had on tap. I think they only had like four or five beers. But uh, that was a good time. So then on the way back, it started raining a little bit, and then um, ended up uh, having about you know an extra five ten minutes and. One of the uh, LCS's Newberry Comics uh, was uh, still open. So I went in there quickly to see what they had for new comic book day week and ended up picking up three books. I, pick, I was interested in reading this book by uh, Jeff Lemire, uh, Minor Arcana. Heard some good things about it. Um, big fan of Jeff Lemire's, especially his horror you know, style um, uh, writing so uh, I'm not sure what this is about but uh, anything that's really Jeff Lemire number ones I tend to try to pick up um, Another one that I was also interested in reading uh, on the uh, horrors, you know like genre And I heard some pretty good things about it as well. This is a bigger book, too This is by uh, Dark Horse uh, Dark Horse Comics and uh, this is Duck in Cover issue number one. This is written by um, Scott Snyder artwork by Raphael Albuquerque and um, yeah I'm interested in checking that out look inside some nice little panels in there so it looks like it's gonna be something pretty good and uh, they also had this nice little variant there that um, you know was going for a little bit over ratio so I picked it up uh, they were only asking 20 bucks for it it was the uh, 1 in 25 that came out this week for ultimates number four Really cool uh, Dr. Doom maker cover. I, I thought that little uh, type of drawing there looked pretty cool. So um, I picked that up, 20 bucks. It's going for like, you know, 25 to 35 bucks. So I was like, all right, why not? And I figured I'd, I'd give it a read because I'm kind of interested in hearing how they uh, do the spin on the, um, you know, Tony Stark becoming Dr. Doom nonsense that uh, they've been trying to push. So uh, Definitely interested in reading these three issues. Um, haven't really been picking up as many new comic book day stuff, really, just because um, I often, you know, buy it and I don't have time to read it. So well, I'm going to be off for a few days. So hopefully I can catch up on some of that reading. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, notice in my analytics, about 50, I don't know, 8, 59 percent of people that are watching are not subscribed. So uh, what are you doing? You know. If you're spending time watching the videos, just hit the subscribe button. It helps me out. Um, uh, and uh, obviously it cues you when I put out some new content. So, uh, and then comment down below. All right, guys, until next time, out.